So Roddy Rich has been bullied off of social media. He's been bullied. Roddy Rich dropped his album. They said Roddy Rich was a flop. They say Roddy Rich fell off. They say Roddy Rich ain't no good. So Roddy Rich deleted his Twitter after new music snippet received harsh criticism. So fans are not happy with the sonic direction Roddy Rich has been headed in. Roddy Rich, uh, first major studio album, please excuse me, Antisocial, is an excellent body of work. The various cadences, patterns, and extremely high level of energy Roddy carried through the project's entirety has impressed fans and critics alike. As we all know, The Box had an absurdly long run at number one on Billboard's charts, almost fully owned to the unique delivery and sound used to craft the track. Unfortunately to his listeners, the artist has stagnated since that point. I feel bad for Roddy Rich, dog. Roddy Rich is on top of the world. He has some of the biggest records of 2020. The Box, big. Rockstar, big. And now they just shitting on him. And he had a good feature on Pure Souls with Kanye. And he had a good song with Pure Souls. In a beautiful trailer for his long live fast, uh, fans were looking forward to the news release. The project, however, was met with mixed reviews when held in comparison to the standards has met with his first release. I think, I think that, I don't think Roddy Rich's album was trash. I think Roddy Rich's album just wasn't pleasing. Like, when you have an album like Please Excuse Me Being Antisocial that got so many hits on it, it's hard to live up to that. It's hard to, you know, do that again, especially when that's your first album. So he left off a tweet telling the world his attention for new project saying, Feed the street. This I, this I knew that when he said this, that he had a other, he had a, he, he had a, um, he had, he was going to drop a mixtape, feed the, feed the streets three. I knew he knew that that shit wasn't, uh, wasn't being received well. And that at that point, I feel like when artists do that, they panicking. Oh, you ain't like the, well, I'm going to drop another album, but you just dropped the album. So you know that one's not going to live. So you know you got to drop some other shit. So he released a snippet today. Let me, let me, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Hopefully this shit don't get clipped. Like yesterday, we was writing Nicki Minaj. We was having a good time and they clipped my shit. But let me know what y'all think about this clip. Do y'all think this is like hot ass trash? Roddy Wish got a wild fucking, this, this, god damn boy, this forehead big as hell. But anyways, to the clip. Hey, I've been low, I've been high, I've been out my body, out of my mind. Couldn't take my soul, take my time. Take my steps, I never stutter. How many times did I lose it in heavy? Where the whole block they flop, we throwing time. How many times did I blow it back on dancers? Don't panic, cause I'm having these racks and rocks. Meet me at the mountain, pop. He gon' come round the bend with a mop. Gotta taste. Now, I don't think that shit was bad, but I guess social media was killing Roddy. Roddy Rich gave us multiple modern rap classics and disrespects of the disrespect needs to chill. So they brought up, you know, Roddy Rich's discography a little bit. Uh, what did Roddy Rich got? Roddy Rich got, what did he give Roddy Rich? Come on, load up for me. He got perfect time, classic. Balling, classic. The Box, classic. The Woo, super classic. But um, I want to see where they're killing them. Tweets like this, tweets like what? Tweets like this led to Roddy deleting his Twitter. Hopefully Roddy can bounce back from the slight downswing. He still has a lot of room to grow, and we hope to see him continue to get better as time goes by. My nigga, I hate it had to be him. I feel bad. Like, bro, you posted it. Like, think about it. That's, that, that makes it worse, though, because I feel like it's all about perception right now with Roddy Rich, right? Because music is a lot about perception. 
and how people feel about you at the time you drop. That's why I feel like people think rollouts don't matter, but I do think rollouts matter, especially to enhance your perception. And I feel like Roddy also doesn't have personality. So besides the music, there's never people to want to connect with when it comes to Roddy Rich. Everybody else, ooh, little baby, he cool. Little baby got ice box. Oh, he's an ice box. Oh, he got money. He's he, he's like he's seen as cool. Little Dirk, he's seen as cool. He got all his little street shit that makes him mysterious. Oh shit, Chirac, Chicago, yada yada yada. Young boy got all his shit mysterious. Yada yada yada. Roddy Rich, but you don't know shit about Roddy Rich. Especially what sucks for him too is they in an era of microwave fans. Like, hey, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go. Drop, 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 drop. If you don't drop in a year, you're done. If you don't drop next week, you're done. As soon as you drop an album, we want more music. At least back in the day, them artists, they was able to just drop an album, be chilling for a little bit, come back, drop another album, chill for a little bit, come back, drop another album. Nowadays, with these new artists and these new fans, they on to the next shit like this. Like, that's why we look at it like these Twitch streamers. Like, you'll see a Twitch streamer go stupid. And then, like, four months later, they'll say, he fell off, L, they'll be on to another streamer. And he'll blow up, he'll go crazy, and a new streamer will pop out. They fuck with him. It's like how I saw streaming going. It was like in 2020, 2020, it was like all that Among Us shit. The Among Us streamers were huge. That shit was great. And then boom. Then we got the new the new wave of stream people like, who they got? Like Ada Ross type shit. With motherfuckers doing like little dates and shit like that. We got motherfuckers doing like the, the weird. He's crazy. But the uh, the speed dude, like the shit just in waves. Like I don't know of anybody who's super consistent with it. Maybe like the XQC nigga and the song Piker, but he do political shit. But. For Roddy Rich, it's like, hey, I don't know what he could do. I think he got to boost his image or something. Like, maybe he got to get a girlfriend. And like maybe he got to get a girlfriend that's known. Maybe that'll help, you know, make people interested in, in Roddy Rich the person. Not necessarily Roddy Rich the music, Roddy Rich the person. What do you think of Jid? I don't think of Jid. <laughs> I don't think nothing. Like, I mean, he could rap. Um... But I'm not, like, waiting on him to drop music and shit like that. Like, I'm like, oh, when is J.I.D. going to drop? Like, hey, if he drop, he drop. I don't have no, like, thoughts and opinions on um, J.I.D. and his music career. He can rap like a Like, out of the young guy, like, we're just going to talk about rapping. He can rap like a motherfucker. But as far as, like, me giving a damn about his music, that's, like, the furthest thing. When I think about J.I.D., like, J.I.D., as far as rappers that I'm waiting on to drop, he's not one of the rappers I'm waiting on to drop. Now, I don't disrespect him, but I just don't even think about um, J.I.D. when I think about new rappers and things of that nature. But he waited too long to drop and lost his hype. Yeah, but anyway, say what the cut feel like he just don't have nothing to talk about, honestly. Uh, Master, okay, that's a little weird. Uh, what was he got bullied all the time in high school? I, like I said, I think Roddy Rich deleting his social medias would make it even worse on him. It would make the perception of him even worse. Like, oh, damn, you dropped a wax snippet and we made you delete it. Now the people feel like they got the power over you. Now they're looking at you like, beta. Like, we got you. We don't got to respect this guy no more. He. We made this guy delete his Twitter. He was so upset that we did not like his snippet. He deleted his Twitter and I think and Instagram. He been saying, oh, I, me and Mustard back in the studio, we knocked one out in 11 minutes and shit like that. Like, all right, big dog. This could, like, honestly, because like I said, how fickle that new fans are. This could be like make or break for him in his career. It's sad to say, because I was like, Roddy Rich gonna be one of them guys. Um, Roddy Rich gonna be one of them guys that um, be around for a while. I was thinking it was gonna be him, Lil Baby, 
Rod Wave, Polo G, Young Boy. Like, there's going to be running, like, the 2020s for the young guys. Like, by the time 2030 hit, we may look back and be like, oh, they was like, you know, how Drake and them was running for 2010. I mean, Drake's still running shit now, but, you know what I'm saying, from 2010 to, to shit, <coughs> to now. And also, like, what, what Charles Edward Cheese is saying, You don't drop the snippet yourself. You let like a leak, like maybe the blogs catch a leak snippet. Don't release the snippet yourself. Because if you release this thing, <clears throat> when you release a snippet yourself, I feel like you think that snippet is good. So now we're really going to judge that snippet. But if you release, a, if a leak comes out, yeah, we could judge the leak, but we could also be like, um, oh, maybe that's something that was just a throwaway. Maybe that's something that he doesn't even want to come out. Maybe that's something that, you know, just got leaked. But when you put it out yourself, oh, you got confidence in this record. You like this record. You think that we're going to like this record. And then when it backfires, you got to delete your Twitter. You got to delete all your shit. Because now you look crazy as hell. 